sweet tea, front porch sitting, the place where bless your heart, it's not always a compliment. These are the words that embody the spirit of the South. But our culture, our idyllic location, makes us so much more than that. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the American Dream. My name is Danielle Childers, and today I'm excited to introduce to you the Charleston of the Upstate, historic York, South Carolina. Come on, let's go. Downtown York is the home to multiple boutique shops, restaurants, and businesses. The city hosts activities throughout the year from the summer concert series, offering live music and activities for the kids, to our annual all-day festival, Summerfest. So today we're visiting the iconic York County Courthouse. The original courthouse was built in 1786 and constructed of square logs. Fast forward over two and a half centuries, and we have this magnificent structure that still serves the residents of York County. It's my pleasure to introduce you to Dalton Pierce, the city manager of York. Dalton, thanks for being with us today. Yes, ma'am, thank you for having me. So you've certainly been busy since stepping into this role as city manager. There's been so much growth that's happened. What do you contribute to this growth? Yes, ma'am, so in this form of government, it's a council manager form of government. So what that means is, Council is ultimately the body that sets the budget, the vision, the mission, ordinances. But what I do is I carry out the day-to-day -day activities, oversee those operations, but also fulfill that mission and vision with associated goals and objectives for the city. So how does a city poise to handle this type of growth? I would imagine no one saw this coming. Right. Every day is fluid. You know, we have our opportunities and challenges, but the city over the last two years has taken a conscientious effort to put back into the city, especially when it comes to capital improvement projects, you know, water, sewer, parks and recreation. We have about $31 million worth of the capital projects, which total 18, but also, you know, policies, uh, studies, plans, you know, trying to guide us forward because what York was five years ago is definitely a lot different than what York will look like in five years from now. No doubt, no doubt. So we see all of the homes are being built. What is the city doing to entice new businesses commercial development, that sort of thing to come in and support the people that's coming into the area. Yes, ma'am. So it's a multifaceted approach on the city's behalf, which, you know, with the growth has brought a lot of challenges and opportunities. So we're trying to bridge the gap and basically play catch up a little bit. So for example, we've always had a facade grant that the city's provided to the downtown area. Uh, it used to be $20,000. Now it's gone up to $100,000 in our current budget. Also, we've contracted with Retail Strategies. They're a national real estate firm, but their bread and butter is they come into municipalities and can be that extension of an economic development department, collect the data, be able to go out and market the city to be able to acquire and entice future commercial, retail, and hospitality businesses. So how can we keep that small town, hometown feel in York? That's very important to everybody, including myself. Absolutely, you know, York is rich in a lot of history. You know, culture and heritage is a big part of what the city of York is, but it's gonna take more than just one approach to be able to preserve that. So being able to bring in development, be able to sustain a quality of life and a cost of living here in the city, but being able to take those revenue sources such as commercial growth, hospitality, and funnel it back into the downtown. York is set up very well, kind of like an onion. We have a large bypass that can handle a lot of cars. There's a lot of land out there currently that is open for development. Being able to take that but preserve what is existing but enhance what we already have. We're standing at 109 North Congress. This home was built around 1820. It's rumored that this massive magnolia tree was planned to commemorate the end of the Civil War, making it over 150 years old. But do you know what makes this site so special? The story is told that in 1939, a Hollywood film crew came to York and wanted to film this location for a movie that they felt like was gonna be a huge hit. To get the best shots, they needed to close Congress Street off to traffic, which at the time the city was opposed to. In the end, they moved production to another location and there they filmed the classic that we all know and love, Gone with the Wind. So thanks for exploring downtown York, South Carolina with me. I'm your host, Danielle Childers, but my friends call me Big D. Stop in to see me when passing through. See y'all.